the results were posted, leaving limited time for challenges, which would have been, which would have been normal in a free and fair election. The fact that you are here, Minister, and making the argument that you're making, tells me that you recognise this is a problem. Oh yes, you see, there's a perception, it's a reality. There are two different things at times. Now, let me first address the issue of uh, the low turnout in court. Now, what made this election transparent and credible? Among other things, was the introduction of technology. But there are other reasons. There, there, there might be other reasons why the poll, the, the turnout. Was. Now, let me first address the issue of uh, the low turnout in court. Now, what made this election transparent and credible? Among other things, was the introduction of technology. But there are other reasons. There, there, there might be other reasons why the poll, the, the turnout was low. And again, many people who, pos who, who take voters' card in Nigeria don't take it because they want to use it to vote. But it's a form of identity and it's also used for certain civic, you know, duties. For instance, if you want to register your child in a school, they'll ask your voters' card. So many people possess it not because they want to go and vote. Plus, if there's no compulsion for anybody who has a voting card to come out and vote you know, in Nigeria, unlike in many, in some countries like Belgium, for instance. And many elites simply don't come out to vote. Okay. And okay. Many well, so that's a part of your answer, but you do recognize there's a, yeah. a problem in establishing the legitimacy of this result, which you do insist is, is legitimate. We hear, we hear that. What about the state of health of the of the elected or the president elects. It's, it's reported that he's ill. No one knows where he is, as far as I can see. It's suggested he might be in Paris. We don't know where is the, the president elect and how is he? The president elect is in very fine health. You see, the lot of. Is he in the country? Is he in? He's in Paris. He's in France as we speak. He's yes. in Paris. Why is he in Paris? Because he needs to prepare for governance. And you see, I was a chief of staff 20 years ago. No, that was about 23 years ago. And I knew that as soon as one election in three, 24 years ago, we went straight to London. And that was where we prepared the blueprint for our governance. So I know what he's doing in Paris. That is meeting with all his air guards and they are planning a blueprint for, go for, for governance. Yeah. Okay. So, but you deny these rumors of him being ill. Pardon? You deny that he's ill. No, he's, he's not ill at all. No. That's Nigeria's Information and Culture Minister Lai Mohammed.